Guys, it's almost Christmas, and I don't know about you, but I don't feel like my org is quite festive enough for this special occasion. So, today, on this very special Christmas episode of Coding with the Force, together, we're gonna find out how you can take your Salesforce org and turn it into a Christmas spectacular. All right, guys, so today, in this very special Christmas episode of Coding with the Force, we're gonna figure out how to take this uh, relatively standard looking org and turn it into a Christmas masterpiece. Something that your users or my users or whoever's users would look at and think, that's too much, I don't want that, but thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to make this. I'm not going to waste your time showing you everything that I do. I'm going to speed that part up. But, together, you're going to find out, or we're going to find out, how to take a boring Salesforce org, override virtually all of Salesforce's out-of-the-box um, look and feel, and turn it into something completely outrageous. So let's get to it. All right, so if you didn't know, you can actually create a lightning web component uh, that you can embed in these pages that will override basically anything on this page that you would like to override and turn it into whatever you wanna turn it into, which is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna figure out how to leverage that. The first thing, that you need to know about is the inspector. If you've never used the inspector before, this is what I'm gonna be using to uh, make the magic happen, I guess, the Christmas magic. And uh, so basically what I'm gonna end up doing is, I'm gonna take this DevTools thing, I'm gonna go uh, you know, find whatever it is I wanna override. So say, uh, I wanna override this, um, wow, I'm forgetting the name of this anymore, highlights card. There we go. I'm gonna highlight that and it's gonna tell me all about it, right? And I can see that this highlights card has a whole bunch of classes on it. It's got the highlights class, that's a pretty good one. Slids clear fix, blah, 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 all these other ones. And I'm gonna pick these classes and figure out how to override each, you know, the ones that matter to turn it into whatever junk I want. And, um, you know, so that's more or less where I'm going with that. But what we're gonna do to actually override these is we're gonna create a Lightning Web Component and a static resource. The Lightning Web Component is gonna pull in the static resource and that static resource, if you didn't know, gets injected into the page and can override all of these default styles. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna actually use IntelliJ for this because it's a little bit easier and I don't have to use the command line to deploy static resources, which is a little bit frustrating to me. Um, but uh, yeah, so first things first, let's just create our Lightning Web Component within here, maybe, if IntelliJ doesn't crash on me. You, know, you, you never know when that's gonna happen, but it's looking like it's crashed, so maybe I'll cut this and come back. See you soon. All right, we're back. And uh, IntelliJ has uh, you know, figured its life out for the moment. So we're gonna make a Lightning Web Component. I'm gonna call it the Christmas Magic Component. I will just call it Christmas Magic, actually. Keep it nice and simple. And, uh, Expose it and say this brings that Christmas magic. And uh, we'll hit OK. And now, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, just real quick in the metadata, we are going to create some targets and we'll, for the time being, give it a target of actually. I don't want that on a new line uh, of lightning 
you know, I kind of want to see if this works in the utility bar because that would make it even better. Uh, I'm going to give it a utility bar and I'm going to put it in the record page just in case. I've never tried this in the utility bar, so, you know, we can learn something new together. Um, okay, so we've got it uh, set up so that we can place it in the utility bar or record page. You could give it more targets or less targets if you want to, but that's what I'm sticking with for now. Uh, this, if you didn't know, this allows you to actually place them on pages, so important to do. Okay, next thing. Uh, we are going to want to create a static resource. So let's create a static resource, and I'm going to call this uh, Christmas Styles. Come on. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to leave the description out so I don't waste any more of your time on descriptions. And now we've got Christmas styles, which is just wonderful. And so basically what we're going to end up doing is importing this style sheet. If you've never done that before, the first thing that you're going to have to do is uh, import a load script, or actually <clears throat> should be load style from a uh, lightning platform resource loader. And we are then going to just import our style sheet that we just made. So we'll say import, uh, you know, we can call this whatever we want. This is essentially the variable name for it if you weren't aware. We'll call it Christmas styles from There you go, just like so. So again, basically we're just going to import the style loader from platform resource loader. Um, and then we're going to actually import our static resource that we just made. And that's it. And then we are going to use the, um, you know, I'm pretty sure connected callbacks the best uh, pick here. So I'm gonna go with this for now. I might go with the uh, rendered callback, but I, I don't think that's necessary. Once it loads in, I think we're pretty much done, which is what connected callback is good at doing. So um, we've got our connected callback. If you don't know what connected callback is, it's a lifecycle hook. I'm actually going to release a video about this and all the other lifecycle hooks here real soon, if it's not already up. So definitely check that out. Uh, but basically this says, you know, once I've loaded into the page, I want to immediately do these things, right? Connected callbacks just, just means, hey, my Lightning Web Component, I've loaded into the page now. Now that my Lightning Web Component is loaded into the page, let's do exactly what I put within this method, right? So very useful thing. And essentially, the next thing that we're gonna do is create a promise. Um, Actually, we don't need a promise in this case. We're only loading one script. We'll just say load style and pass in Christmas styles, like so. Now, you can also, you know, do a lot more, more with this, but uh, I'm gonna keep it simple and just do uh, load this style. If this wasn't a silly thing, I wouldn't do it this way. You know, you probably wanna catch on this uh, some error handling. Uh, we're not here to get serious today. We're here to make Christmas styles. So I'm not going to waste your time with that. Uh, but just know if you're building a real component, you know, put a catch on the end of this and, and, and you know, check your check. Be responsible with your code. <laughs> put some error catching. Okay, anyway, <clears throat> so now we've loaded our style into this. That's it. That's pretty much it for this component. Okay, so I'm going to show you where I'm going to place this component in the page. Actually, before I show you where I'm going to place it in, this, in the page, let me just bring back up my org and just do one, you know, quick attempt at changing the styles real quick. Let's say background color red oh there we go there it is that's what i like to see um 
it's horrifying, but we're getting more Christmassy, you see. So basically, you know, if you want to check out what your uh, styles, the damage your styles are going to do before you, you actually put them in the page, you can um, actually write them right in here. So I would, you know, gave me a new line down here. If I wanted to make the text color, for instance, which is just color, if I wanted to make it uh, green, like so, Oh, that's looking god awful but very Christmassy and um, you know so you can kind of check it before you make it which is pretty cool pretty useful and uh, so that's what I'm gonna end up doing I'm going to grab the highlights class name here and for testing purposes anyway I'm going to come over here into Christmas styles and I'm gonna say Highlights will now have, oh man, I made this as a JavaScript file, I think. Uh, let me let me remake this. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I did, I made it as a JavaScript file, but it should have been CSS. So we'll, we'll, we'll delete, actually, let's delete Christmas styles. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And then we're going, oh, it doesn't want to do it. Christmas, we'll just make it Christmas style sheet and actually change it to CSS this time. Okay, yes, yes. And I'm gonna update this to be Christmas style sheet instead. Save it. Cool, cool, cool. And now I can uh, take that highlights class. And I can say background color green. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I had it as red. And you'll probably want to put the important tag on the end of it. You can try it without that. Chances are pretty high. If you don't put this here, and Salesforce's default styles are going to override whatever you do here. Um, and then we'll put green like so. Cool. So we've got our baseline here going on, looking pretty good. Let's bring back up uh, this magical thing. And next thing I'm going to do is first actually test to see if this will work in the utility bar, because if it does, that would be wonderful i think it should but i've never tried it so let's go over to uh the app builder app manager app manager there it is and we will uh keep it simple and find the service console let's open the service console <clears throat> and we will uh, create a utility item in here and we'll just uh say add utility item Find uh, the new Christmas magic utility. <laughs> See if there's any uh, Christmassy icons. Are there? I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's a tree. Nope. Nope, nope. This doesn't matter. Let's do uh, Apex plugin. Sure. And um, yeah, let's start it automatically. I, I, I don't know that we, we actually want that. But maybe we will, you know, maybe I'll add something fun in here if this works. Um, okay, anyway, we've saved that. <clears throat> We're good to go. Now, uh, let's go on over to the service console. And, uh, and uh, we got an error, but it flashed up quick enough, and I have made this mistake enough times to know <laughs> what we got to change. So, over here... Uh, I need to zoom in. Um, I forgot to import the component to load style. So you have to put in, you know, with load style, you have to say, you know, this and the style. So this uh, equates to essentially the entirety of your component, your Lightning Web component, that is. So let's come back over here and uh, just give this another go and see what happens. Maybe, maybe, there it is. There we go. All right, so um, now that you know how 
uh, this works. Um, and uh, it thankfully works in this magical utility bar. So I could uh, go around wherever. Let's actually, let's see. You know, if I, if I went to, uh, I don't know, an account. Oh, wait, this is an account. If I went to a contact, would it work? And it works on contacts. And if I go to some random custom object that I clearly must have no records for, it works there too. Amazing. Wow. I don't have to do anything. It's just gonna it's gonna happen. Christmas is gonna happen everywhere in this org. Anyway, guys, um now I'm just gonna build a whole bunch of stupid stuff and uh speed all this up. And I'll see you at the end. At, in the in the end result. We'll, we'll see how terrible this looks or magical or we'll 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 figure it out. Anyway, see you soon. All right, guys, so I'm not going to lie. I forgot to hit record when I was uh, actually making the rest of this, but that's okay. You know, all that's important is you get to see the end result um, and what you could do for your very own org. So let's take a look at the final horrifying result that I've come up with for Christmas magic. Let's take a look at one of these <laughs> contacts. And so uh, what you can see here is um, clearly uh, a, a huge burst of Christmas spirit. Uh, yeah, I mean, if somebody looks at this and they don't think Christmas, uh, that's on them. Maybe it makes their life a little harder because there are gifts in the background playing. But uh, quite frankly, I think I think this is just a Christmas masterpiece that everyone will appreciate, you know, for at least forty-five seconds before it it becomes unbearable. So anyway, now you know how to take your org and uh, turn it into. A Christmas uh, spectacular, right? I think that's what I called it at the beginning. And it's just so easy. I mean, look at this. This is all I did. I just grabbed the elements right out of the page using what we described before and uh, wasted about half an hour um, putting that into this static resources. And as far as the Lightning Web Component is concerned, that's it. Nothing else. So simple. So easy. So just wonderful. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, so there you go. Uh, spice up that org with a magical dose of Christmas, and um, uh, your user base will hate you for it or, or maybe love you. Uh, but I can't imagine they'd like this. But, but maybe... Anyway, there you go. Uh, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful time. See you in the next episode.